The Moodle Gradebook is a powerful tool for you to provide feedback to your students as well as summarize the grades and calculate grades for your class. You can use the Moodle Gradebook to um, collect scores from activities that are taking place in Moodle and that you're grading in Moodle, as well as um, activities and assignments that you're collecting outside of Moodle in class, in class quizzes, midterms, and so forth. All of those grades can be put into the Moodle gradebook. Students will see their individual scores, and you can use Moodle to basically combine those grades uh, however you want them combined to match the grading schema that you've set up for your course. So it can be a very powerful tool, but it can be somewhat uh, complicated to set up if, you're, if you haven't done it a lot. And so what I want to do in this uh, video is just focus on uh, setting up a very simple example grading schema and how that would be translated into setups uh, of items in uh, the Moodle gradebook. So if we see, I've got uh, a really straightforward uh, grading scheme on the front page of my Moodle course here. There are going to be a number of quizzes. I don't, necess I don't have to determine at the beginning of the semester how many, but I know at the end of the semester however many quizzes there are. I want those quizzes to be worth 15% of the grade. Same thing with assignments. I'll have a number of assignments and I want them to be at the end of the day 25% of the grade. I'm going to have a, a midterm in class that's going to be worth 20% of the grade. So I'm going to have to add an item in the Moodle gradebook that will allow me to enter the scores from that midterm. And then I've got a final paper, a Turnitin assignment in Moodle, and an ePortfolio submission that's submitted to a regular Moodle assignment. Those are going to be submitted and graded in Moodle, and they're each worth 20% of the grade. One thing uh, I find when working with faculty is that um, you know, if, if you know how to use the Moodle Gradebook, you can have a bit more freedom than uh, is the case with some of the faculty I've worked with who have these very complicated grading schemes so that they know exactly how many quizzes they need to have in order to have things add up to, you know, 500 points at, or, or whatever. By having uh, these general categories, you have more flexibility. And you can basically have Moodle do the work to, uh, to make sure that the different types of items are making up the, the percentage of the grade that you want. So under the course administration block in our current version of Moodle, there's actually a link that goes straight into the gradebook setup, which is, is uh, convenient. And uh, if you see uh, the gradebook here, uh, we basically have a, a what I like to call a, an overall big bucket here that's going to have the various kinds of items in it. And you can see that because I've already added some graded activities to my Moodle course, um, we've got some items automatically showing up in the gradebook. But they're nowhere in, um, in they're not um, set up in the in the um, uh, percentages that I discussed in the syllabus and have listed on the page. So basically what you can do is use these add category and grade item buttons to um, organize your gradebook and to add any kinds of activities that are taking place out of outside of Moodle and along with the activities that are taking place in Moodle to come up with the grading schema. So I said that quizzes were going to be worth 20% of the, of the grade. I've got, you know, one quiz here in Moodle already, and I'm going to have some quizzes that are, um, you know, I'm going to be uh, um, giving in class, and I'll put some other Moodle quizzes together and so forth. I, I need to have basically a, a bucket for those quizzes that I can determine will be 20% uh, of the uh, fifteen percent of the grade. So I'm going to click the add category button 
and I'm just going to call it quizzes. And I'll actually, in the label for that category, put the 15% just to make it more obvious to the students that, that that's what's going on here. Um, we will talk about aggregation methods in, um, in just a minute. For now, I'm just going to leave it as the default, which is simple weighted mean of grades. Uh, simple weighted mean of grades is sort of like just adding up the items that are inside the category. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but um, we'll talk about that in a minute. So I click Save Changes, and it's going to have it's going to produce a category here inside the overall uh, grade calculation that is uh, quizzes. And I'm going to use a little arrow here to um, point that and move it to the top of the list. And now I've got quizzes here. And I say they're worth 15%, but I haven't really set it up to be 15% yet. I've got this, uh, this first quiz. I could click on the little double arrow and put it up into that category. But I can also click this select box over here and use this move selected items to to move it to that quizzes category and when I do that you'll see that I now have um, this here represents the quizzes category here's the name of the category here's um, here's how the category is being calculated and that mass wasting quiz that's a Moodle quiz is moved into there I can do the same thing to add a category for assignments. And save that change. Again, I'm compulsive enough. I'm going to move that up so that it is under the quizzes category. I don't want to move it into the quizzes category. I want to move it under the quizzes category and this assignment here that I've got set up in Moodle is one of those assignments for this 25% of the grade so again I'm going to select it and move it to the assignments category and now thing now this is starting to look like what I set up in the syllabus for the grading schema but um, I, I'm going to have a midterm, and that's not on here because I'm not doing that in Moodle. So I can click Add Grade Item, and I'll call it Midterm. And um, I will not put it into one of these categories, but just leave it at the overall top level of my gradebook. Click Save Changes. And there you can see that I've added this as a manually graded item. It just gives me a slot in the gradebook where I can enter the grades uh, for the midterm. Now, um, by default, that Moodle gave that a, a maximum grade of 100 points, and that might be what I set up for the midterm. But... Um, yeah, I might have a set of short answer questions and multiple choice questions and problems and so forth that add up to 87% or 87 points. So um, I'll show you how that uh, how you can set that later and have it still be worth 20% of the grade. Again, I'm going to move this just up so that my Moodle gradebook looks like what I've got listed on the front page. There's quizzes, there's assignments, there's the midterm, ePortfolio, and final paper. Now, um, I want to be able to set the weights on here. And by default, Moodle is using this simple weighted mean of grades um, aggregation method that is kind of like adding things up. 
And that's not going to work because, you know, the quizzes have a, a total of 100 and the assignments 100. Everything here has a... So these would add up basically to 500 points. And so basically right now each one of these categories, quizzes and assignments, or grade items, are essentially worth one-fifth of the grade. So if I go to the top level uh, category, uh, overall grade calculation and edit the settings on it, I can change this from simple weighted mean of grades to weighted mean of grades. That will allow me to specify the weights. Essentially, you will mostly use these top three categories. Weighted mean of grades means you are determining how important each thing is by giving each um, assigning a weight independently to each of the items. Mean of grades means that everything that's in that category counts the same toward the category, even if they're worth different points. And simple weighted mean of grades, Moodle takes the maximum grade on the item and uses that for the weight. So I'm going to change the overall grade calculation to weighted mean of grades so I can set up percentages comparable to what I have in the syllabus. And that's a fairly common situation for most courses grade books. So I'm going to change this weighted mean of grades. Click Save Changes. And you now see that there is a place where you can put in the weights for the different items. So I'm going to put in a weight of 15 for the quizzes, 25 for the assignments, 20 for the midterm, 20 for the ePortfolio, and 20 for the final paper. And I'm going to save those changes. And uh, now these categories and these items that I've got listed on my syllabus have the weights in the Moodle gradebook corresponding to what I've listed in the syllabus. Now, I mentioned that I can have the midterm be worth whatever arbitrary number of points I want it to be, and it's still going to be worth 20% of the grade. So let's say I do actually write the midterm, and it does turn out to be that it comes to 87 total points. I can edit this grade item, set the maximum grade to match what the maximum grade is on the test, save that change, and now I can enter grades between 0 and 87 for all of my students. And um, whatever that grade is for the student, it will be worth 20% of the grade, overall grade for the course. And we'll talk uh, in a different video about how best to, to enter those grades. So uh, if we go back, uh, look at this quizzes category for a minute. I've already got one quiz in here in Moodle. Uh, let's say I'm going to have a number of quizzes as the semester goes on in class and in Moodle. Uh, I can just continue to add other grade items in that category uh, for every quiz that I decide to have. So if I click Add Grade Item, I'm just going to call this uh, In Class Quiz Number 1. Um, that quiz might be 12 points because I might have three four-point questions on it that I'm um, doing in class. What I want to do is make sure that I put that into the quizzes category. Click Save Changes and you'll see there's that quiz. And, you know, another week and a half goes by in the semester and we decide to have another quiz in class. So I'm going to add another grade item. I'm going to call it, uh, you know, in class quiz number two. And uh, for this one, maybe it's worth eight points. And I'm going to click Save Changes. You see that I just there made a mistake because I didn't actually specify that that should go into the quizzes category. Not a problem. And just click again this little double 
uh, arrow thing to move that item and I can say well I want it to show up right here under in class quiz number one and uh, if I you know set up another quiz in Moodle um, when I set up that quiz which we're not going to take the time to look at in this video I would again just you know indicate that it should be in the quizzes category and those quizzes would all uh, show up in here um, and again it doesn't matter whether I've got eight quizzes, 12 quizzes, 20 quizzes, um, different point values, they're all going to add up to 15% of the grade. Now currently, that category is set up with simple weighted mean of grades, which means that Moodle is going to take the weight from the different point values. So in this case, quiz number one here that's worth 12 points is going to be basically 50% more important for the category here, grade here, than quiz number two, which is eight points. And that might be what you want. I, you know, I, I oftentimes use simple weighted mean of grades if I've got a category for participation and I'm having the students do lots of participation activities and you know some of them are two-point activities and some are five-point activities I might actually want those point values to be to represent the weights but in this case maybe I'm thinking well you know a quiz is a quiz is a quiz I want them all to be the same import the, the same weight on the category and I'm just it's just convenient for me to have them um, graded on different point values I can change the aggregation of the settings for this quizzes category edit those settings and change it from simple weighted mean of grades to mean of grades with mean of grades every item in the category counts equivalently to the category total uh, even if they have different point values I click Save Changes there so now I've got you know I've got a basic shell for the for the gradebook I've got categories top level categories and items here that match what I've got listed in the syllabus I set up the overall grade category to be weighted mean of grades so that I can put in the weights, the 15%, 25%, 2020, so forth. I have a quizzes category here that I've set up to be mean of grades. So even though I've got different point values on the different quizzes, they all count the same amount toward the category. And for the assignments, I've got that set up as simple way to mean of grades. So if I've got, you know, a 10 point assignment and a 50 point assignment, those different point values are going to indicate the relative weight or importance of those items in the in the category. As the semester goes on and we do more quizzes and more assignments or as the students take the midterm, you know, I can add those other quiz and, and assignment activities whether they're in Moodle you know as a, you know an assignment activity added in Moodle or if they're done in class and I just add them as a grade item and the you know can build up the grade book um, as uh, the semester goes on and enter the grades either by grading the activities in Moodle and we'll look at that later or by entering grades for the things that are done outside of Moodle and again we'll look at that later but you know this this kind of setup with uh, top level items that you give weights to and different categories that you can either you know um, have everything have the same amount uh, uh, the same weight or the weights can be taken from the grades or you can set up the, the, the weighted means so that you're putting the weights in that kind of approach will probably handle you know in my experience working with faculty um, cl uh, the bulk of of the grading schemas that I've seen when I've been working with faculty so I think we'll close this one off and um, I'll show you how to enter grades manually and in Moodle um, in another video